Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. I want to thank you for joining me for devotions this morning. We're continuing with the theme of Christmas, going through this Christmas season and talking about peace because that's what we talked about in our Sunday morning, morning service. So we're tying the devotions all week to the message. And I want to share with you Luke chapter 2, verse 14 that says, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those whom his favor rests. Peace to those on whom his favor rests. We can have the peace that comes from God, no matter what situation, what our circumstances, we can have his peace. You know, I love this time of year. Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's, it's awesome. I love it. And you get to hear things that normally you wouldn't hear throughout the year. We hear the name of Jesus being played over the uh, radios and the stores. And, and even TV shows have something to do with the birth of our Savior. It, even if you look at the, the most iconic Christmas shows, uh, like the Charlie Brown Christmas, there is something special about that that has a very spiritual tint. And I want to read something to you that I read about the Charlie Brown Show Christmas special uh, today. It's kind of a miracle that the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas ever got made, much less aired on national television. We know it as a beloved Christmas tradition, but in 1965, the TV executives were sure it was going to flop. They thought it was too slow, the now iconic jazz music didn't belong in a cartoon, and the voices were too amateurish. Charlie Brown and his pals used too big a vocabulary, and Linus can't quote the Bible on TV. Even Charles Schultz's own creative team tried to talk the illustrator out of that scene, but Schultz would not be dissuaded because Coca-Cola had bankrolled the show and TV guys had already listed it. The CBS executives had no choice but to reluctant, reluctantly air it. And as you know it, the show was a huge hit. Its triumph was Linus announcing to Charlie Brown, that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown, and proclaiming to the world the words of the angels from that first Christmas night. I, I love to hear things about Christianity, the Bible, being quoted in TV shows and all over music this time of year. Luke chapter 2 says this, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angels, uh, appearing, uh, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. And you know that message is still true for us today. It's okay. We don't have to be afraid. No matter what is happening, what circumstances we're dealing with, we don't have to be afraid because God is with us. Even when it looks like it's, he's not, even when we don't know where he is, when we can't find him, when, when our world is changing, when our life is changing, when everything seems to be out of our control, we can have God's peace. Christ has come. Peace is here. Peace is a person. And that person is Jesus Christ. I hope that you will have peace during this Christmas season. Get into God's word. See what he has for you. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.